Tapajarids and their more distant relatives, the Thalassodromids, always manage to have the most noticeable crests, and Tapakshuara is no different. Tapakshuara is a genus of large, toothless pterosaurs from the early Cretaceous of the Albion stage, present-day Romualdo formation, and the Santana group in Brazil, about 125 to 112 million years ago. The genus was named and described in 1988 by Alexander Kellner and Diogenes de Almeida Campos. The type species is Tapakshuara longicristus and another species is T. leonardii. The ridge of the second type was different, with a much rounder tip. This species probably also had a very large wingspan of about 5.5 meters in diameter and was about 1.50 to 1.60 meters high. It was once suggested that Tapakshuara was a fish eater on the coasts of South America, while some divergent hypotheses include the possibility that it was a fruit eater. However, due to its as darkoid relationship, it was most likely a terrestrial omnivore or carnivore. The closely related Thalassodromius was specialized in larger prey, while both Tapakshuara species lacked such specialization. Tapakshuara shared its habitat with many other animals, such as Irritator, Morischia a small genus of Compsognathid theropods, Santanoraptor, and other pterosaurs such as the no-relative Thalassodromius or Tropiognathus, as well as two species of crocodile morphs, including Araripesicus and several genera of turtles and fish. In 2006, an adolescent individual was described by David Martill and Darren Nash of the University of Portsmouth, the adolescent had not yet fully developed his crest, supporting the suggestion that the crest was a marker of sexual maturity. This could mean that in male individuals, the comb could have a colorful pattern after sexual maturity. We have discovered only a few specimens of Tapakshuara so far, it is possible that the crest on their heads was reserved only for males to impress females and intimidate rivals. Thanks for watching, I hope you've learned something interesting.